everyone, today I'll be reviewing this brand new series just dropped on Netflix called Man on the Inside and it's, it is starring Ted Danson and when I saw this series was coming on Netflix I was really excited but I did not see any trailer or anything uh, but after watching their show I was like whoa I'm really glad this kind of sitcom is coming back uh, especially on Netflix there is not much sitcom honestly uh, even there is they're not that good certainly they're not very well written so this one i thought overall this sitcom is actually it's not a hoo-ha funny sitcom but still it is a uh, like a comedy drama type series and uh, in the series you see charles played by uh ted denson he is this retired professor in this show and uh like his wife passed away and he has this daughter emily in this series uh so when he get this gig uh, to work with this uh, private investigator basically this uh, private investigator lady ask him to go inside this uh, inside this specific view this re retire home to investigate like there's this uh, like uh, this old lady her jewelry like her necklace was stolen and that necklace is uh, made out of ruby so basically her her uh, son hired a private detective to find out like who stole uh, his mom so this expensive necklace in this series so T Ted Denson basically goes to this retire home senior retire home and he investigate and uh, so I, I would say the first two episodes is okay but I think once we get going with the investigation uh, this show became really very entertaining and engaging and all these uh, resident who live in this uh, retire home their storylines are really interesting and funny and there's one character named Elliot you know Elliot is like this you know bully uh, old guy and I thought his <laughs> character was quite funny and of course there is a DD played by Stephanie Bratz you know her from uh, Brooklyn Nine-Nine so this show cast is uh, obviously Ted Danson he is the star mostly most of the money for this show went to him <laughs> once again uh ted danson he is so good in this show like if you like ted danson especially if you like him in the good place you will like this show overall this show is actually very well written uh but i guess there is a couple of episodes it's really drag out i guess like uh, but the investigation like who done it who stole the necklace and end of it uh like who stole it i thought it was like okay uh i didn't like it that much then again it was very unpredictable you know who stole the necklace because honestly this kind of series whenever you are watching a senior citizen uh, this kind of resident you know you always suspect the stuff <laughs> i that is what i was thinking i was like so when we get the unexpected uh I guess the person who stole the necklace i was like whoa what uh so this is like uh, this show done good job you know they're telling you like this uh, retire home is actually very happy fun place it's not uh, as depressing as we see in the other movie or show uh but i i, I honestly thought like personally because this is a like kind of like a senior citizen there's the story they're showing uh they do focus this on you know the loneliness and everything uh, i really wish they could have shown more about the like you know the stuff their point of view although the head lady Didi, uh i thought her character was quite interesting uh i, I was really thinking spoiler uh it's not a spoiler but a spoiler i guess i really thought Didi she stole it maybe uh but uh no uh yeah the series overall it is it i did got the feeling of uh, the only murder in the building it does have that vibe not fully i guess uh but there is a one scene when he go out with this old guy and uh to see the san francisco that episode like the episode nine it was really drag out and i was like what well like, it's very unnecessary drag out scene to show people that i guess the son does not care about the father overall this show does really good job showing people's loneliness and everything i think this is will be really good watch for a little bit older audience they will really enjoy this series i feel like uh 
not that young people cannot enjoy it i think young people can also enjoy it because this is very well written and the mystery is definitely engaging keep audience guessing who is this person you know <laughs> stealing these things uh, but elliot character was really interesting this like this show created this high school type environment which i don't know how much realistic honestly so i've never been to any retire home so I couldn't give my opinion on it, how it is like there, but I, I'm uh, like basing my opinion based on the movie and show. And I thought the show was like the mystery and everything. It overall very well done. And if you like Ted Danson, like who doesn't like Ted Danson? This is really worth checking. And that was my thought on this. I can't wait to see season two. So I hope Netflix will continue this show because it's not a very good sitcom on Netflix. So I hope they will continue. And that was my thought on this. Let me know in the comment. What do you think about this series? If you enjoyed my this review, don't watch other reviews on, on other show. If you enjoyed this, please subscribe. Until I see you next time. Please take care.